today we're going to be talking about inequalities in two different triangles. So we're going to be comparing two different triangles. So we kind of talked about this, or we kind of discovered this in the geometry sketchpad activity that you did. And angle A, how does angle A look like it's comparing to angle X? Angle A looks like it's less than the measure of angle X. So therefore, this side here, CB, is going to be less than YZ. And really, our theorem is the side, side, angle, side, inequality theorem. And that's also called the hinge theorem in a lot of other books. If two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another, but the included angle is larger than, or really smaller than, um, these third the, of the second, then the third side is larger or smaller. In our case, this was smaller than the third side. So basically, if you're comparing two triangles, the hinge theorem, because these are locked into place, A, B, and A, C, X, Y, and X, Z are locked into place. If I have a triangle where this angle here is smaller than that angle, this side here is going to be smaller than that side there. The converse of that, if CB is less than YZ, then angle A is going to be less than it. Or also the same holds true if we are greater than. So that's our side 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 inequality and that's also called the converse of the hinge of the hinge theorem and I just give you that because some other books use that I like using side 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 because what I'm comparing here is I'm comparing sides versus in the other one we were comparing the angles we were given a B and a C AB was congruent to XY, and AC was congruent to YZ. And then we are comparing how these sides relate given that our angles were bigger. Okay, so first example. Complete, and then let's give a reason why. Let's give a theorem that justifies. So in these triangles, I know these sides that are marked with four are equal. I know this common side is equal. Four is greater than three. So therefore, one, angle one, has to be greater than angle two. Now that's because I was comparing the sides, gave me the angles, so that's our side, side, side inequality. I use the sides to get to the angles. So therefore, and that's also the converse of the hinge. Okay, EF and ED. Okay, so let's look at this. We're giving it here a big triangle. The big triangle, FGD, is isosceles. So I know this side is equal to this side. I know that sides are equal. I know angle F is equal to angle D. So we need to look at how angle FGE compares with EGD. Well, if these sides are equal, let's call them X. If I subtract from 180, how I would get this angle here, this is 92 minus X. Here I would get 88 minus X. Because I'm taking 92, 180 minus 92 gets me 88. So which one of these two quantities is bigger? Well, 92 minus some number and 88 minus some number gets me this is larger and this is smaller. So therefore, EF is going to be greater than ED. Now what did I use? I used side angle side inequality. I used angles to get me my conclusion about sides. And that's also called the hinge theorem. 
Okay, next example, our proof. So we are given that BC is equal to DC, and we are given that AB is greater than AD. We are given that. So let's kind of mark up the diagram. BC is bigger than D, than D, or I'm sorry, is congruent to DC. I know AC is the common side. AB is greater than AD. What you might want to do, um, and this isn't the most mathematical, it's just a way I help organize myself. Since AB is larger, I'm gonna mark that with four markings versus AD, I'm gonna mark with three so that I can tell that that's four or some number bigger than three. I need to see how one compares to two. Well, we need to say in our proof that we have AC equal to AC, and that's by reflexive. Look at what I have now. I have side, angle, side, where angle one, the measure of angle one, is greater than the measure of angle two. It might be helpful if you put those M's in there so that I don't get confused with your angle sign and your less than or greater than sign. Now, angle one is greater than angle two because what did I use? I compared the length of AB to AD, so that's going to be our side, side, side inequality, which is also, you can also use the converse of the hinge theorem. Okay, there are your lesson questions for the day, and I kind of have these separated. So you have question one, you're gonna give me the inequality, and then one B, you're gonna give me the theorem that justified that. Two A, give me the inequality. Two B, give me the theorem.